All right, let's take a skull crusher and get a little bit of sledge action in here. Ah, group knockdown. I love them. I love the smell of group knockdown in the morning. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue working on uh, the Deshawing Tower. Uh, I am back from my business trip to San Jose, California. This is my, I got back actually yesterday afternoon and then just kind of vegged out for the rest of the day. Um, and today I'm just kind of chilling and doing some laundry and getting caught up here uh, on our Undead Legacy series. So uh, last time I played, which for me was over a week ago, uh, we had made up a whole bunch of concrete blocks so i have over a full stack of concrete blocks and so it's time for us to to continue working on the deshong tower and uh, that's the plan so let's see i think um what do i got going on in here okay so yeah it looks like i i queued up a bunch of ingots here so let's grab those out and we're making steel ingots We'll put those in there. And let's see, what do we want for building stuff? One of you guys mentioned to me in the comments a few weeks back that I should carry some oh shits drops with me while I'm doing building and, you know, on the edge, out on the edge of the building. And I think that is a fantastic idea. So we will do that. Um, let's put this here. And I don't think we need any of the rest of that stuff. How are we doing on food, by the way? We have the ability to make some pretty good food. I think we're waiting on... We got some spaghetti there. And four gumbo and a bunch of meat stew. Yeah, we're doing great. <clears throat> um, I believe in the last episode, didn't we work on the, on the garden? Let's go just take a quick look and see what's going on up there. We're not, I'm not really harvesting eggs right now because we have tons of eggs. Yeah, okay, so we planted this garden and we're waiting for it to grow. And I think we we were still short on potato uh, seeds, if I remember correctly. So when we get a crop of, you know, when the potatoes are all mature and then ripe, whatever, uh, we'll pick those and then continue to make seeds until we have t at least two full rows of those. And then the mushrooms... I was just kind of planting all over the place. Now, somebody mentioned to me that that it is possible to plant mushrooms um, not in a crop plot. I'm trying to remember what you said about that. I had to do something, and, I, and, and I'd be able to plant them, like, on the wall, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But um, I'm trying to remember what did... I guess I'd have to go back and look at the comments, but I don't have any mushroom seeds in here now anyway. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. So let's head on back this way. Apparently, I must have been poisoned because I have a an antidote, active antidote. So, are you doing anything? Nope, you're not. Okay. I believe that's right. Yeah, we went out into the desert and we got ourselves... A bunch of oil shale, so I must have made... Oh, <laughs> we got lots of gas there. We had lots of gas. In fact, let's take one of those with us, because we'll probably end up using the jackhammer uh, for the building sesh. And we definitely need the nail gun, so we get, let's get that going. And I'm just looking at my my ammo and stuff like that. You know what, too? Let's do this. Let's, um... Let's drop a few things off so we can lighten up a little bit. So I'm just going to carry the, uh, we'll carry the sledgehammer and the machine gun with us just in case we need it, but we're going to get rid of everything else to lighten up a bit. So that way we can carry more blocks. So we'll put all that stuff there. We might need the axe. We're not going to need the lock picks. Not that that's really heavy. 
Um, we, we'll take, we'll actually, let's launch Roberta and she can hold blocks for us. Okay. Power up complete. And yeah, we'll take the impact driver in case we find something that we need to, um, that we might want to take apart. Uh, we don't really need night vision. And we don't really need those. We'll keep the health stuff with us because you never know. You never know what might happen. And, um, steroids. Whoops. Move all this stuff up here. Okay, we want everything that's down here. Let's put that down there, that down there, that down there, and this down here. Okay, I think we're in good shape now. And so the blocks, let's grab as many blocks as we and Roberta can carry. Let's see if she can carry a half a stack of blocks. Yep, she certainly can. Okay, and then we'll grab these. And we still have plenty of room to carry. Okay, so let's see. We left off on this side of the building. And we still have four floors, I think, maybe to go. Let's come down through here. Oh, look at that. There's an ammo pile right there. How about that? All right. I think what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and cut through here. How about that? All right. Cool. So, yeah, we got to start on this floor here. Okay. Um, then I guess what we'll do is we'll start by removing all the semi-broken lo uh, blocks. Let's get that done first. Okay, I'm a little bit on the heavy side from picking up all the stone. So I'm just going to stick that in there for now. Um, I don't really want to stick this and the ammo in there because I might forget it <laughs> and leave it in there forever. So let's not do that. Okay, I think what we'll do now is... I still can't jump. Why can't I jump? I'm not that heavy. All right, I'm back. Um, apparently, I had a keyboard malfunction because the spacebar wasn't working on the keyboard at all. Uh, so I, I fixed that, and we are back in business. And now I can jump. Look at that! Yeah, yes. Okay, I'm gonna make an adjustment on my mixer there. All right, let's get back in here and grab these blocks back out of here. And Roberta can now fly again. Okay, so we're going to go over to here and let's get rid of uh, this stuff. These broken blocks, that's what we were working on. And we're just going to bust this whole thing here. Which takes that, takes that out. And then we'll jump down here. Oh man, this lag is terrible. Gonna get me killed. Well, maybe, maybe with the uh, oh shits drops, we'll be able to keep from getting hurt too bad if we end up falling off. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna get this building project finished so we can uh, finish building our our base and our our garage, and I want to get start getting into some aircraft too, so we can do a little bit of exploring on our map here. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. I believe I spent 
I must have spent some off-camera time after we recorded the last episode. And um, I found, I actually found a city up north. Uh, so let's look at our map here. So I was, let's see, I left you guys in, I think I was in the desert in the last episode. We were like up in here, we hit some treasures and then I let you guys go. And then I, I came through here, I, I uh, mined up some more oil shale. And then I came across here and this is like a really large, flat, wooded uh, valley through here. And right about in here, it got dark. And so I just kind of stayed on this highway. But there, it looks like there's a, a pretty big city up here in the northeastern part of the map. But it was too dark. I was getting, I was running out of gas. And I wanted to make sure I could get home because I still had, you know, a long ways to go uh, to get back to the base. So I didn't stop and look around or anything. Uh, but that's a place we can go explore at some point, too. So... It's kind of always cool when you find another big city on the map. All right. Anyway, let's continue on. Yeah. So I think we got all the broken blocks out of the way now. So let's get. Uh, I want to take a quick look see out here to see uh, what things look like. We'll make ourselves like a little scaffolding. Okay, so that means these blocks here we're not going to cover. And I think we'll just keep going up with the same pattern that we've been using. Okay, yeah, I think we got that. I think I got it figured out. And I'm going to assume then that this side's probably the same situation. Except for, I think we need to have, I think we actually need to have blocks in here. Let's hop out this way a little ways. Yeah, we need to put some half blocks uh, going through there. So, let's go ahead and copy the shape and copy the rotation. And we'll come back here. There we go. I think that's that's what we want to do. And then for coming along here now. Copy shape, copy rotation. And we do the same thing that we did before. Uh, on the previous floor. This has a, that is a full block there. Uh, I wonder if there, there, maybe there was a wall there or something. I don't remember. I think what we'll do is we'll just do this for now though. Yeah, there's probably, there was probably a wall there. Um. Oh no, that's, that's going to be another support going up. Right, okay, so that means I should not have put these here. Damn it, Jim! My brain's all fuzzy, you guys. <laughs> I'm like still in recovery mode here, so bear with me. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the outer blocks up to the next floor, and then we'll put the inner blocks in. I wonder if I can reach, if I get here, and go up to here. I wonder if I can reach all three of these sides. We will find out.
Okay, so now I think we can start put uh, start putting the ceiling in. I'm wondering though if we need a support around here. I want to go see what it looks like on the other side. Do we have anything to buy in here? I think we we probably already checked that. So let's go down to this next floor. No, there's no supports down here. It's wide open. That doesn't necessarily mean it's supposed to be, though. That's just the way I built it. Is that a zombie? No, it's a corpse. I'm going to say that better not be a zombie. All right. What about the this floor? There's still a lot of resources I can get in here. See, that's got some more walls and support and stuff there. Huh. All right, well, good enough. Let's keep going here. Left off here. Right, okay, that's because we didn't go any further down for salvaging. Okay, next it's time to put the roof in. Or the ceiling. Alright guys, um, it is apparently Horde Night. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. Uh, so yeah, it's Horde Night, and um, I hope we're ready for it. I, I'm pretty sure we got everything patched up at the Horde base after the last Horde Night. Um, I must have spent a few in-game days off camera. I just don't remember because, you know, it's been uh, about a week and a half or so since I last played before I went on my trip, so... Yeah, we get to we get to fight the horde. Uh, so I still have 113 concrete blocks left. So we'll get back to to working on that uh, later. Um, so I need to get some stuff put away. So let me get uh, situated here. I'll grab whatever ammo and stuff I have, and I'll meet you guys over um, at the horde base, and we will we'll do horde night 140. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we are at the horde base, and I remembered that. And, and I may have mentioned this in the last video, I don't remember if I did or not, but um, one of you guys told me that this it was the uh, sledgehammer that was setting off the demos. So I removed the sledgehammer, but I didn't patch that back up. So we need we need to do something about that ledge. Um, you could either break it or just block it off. Now. I think, yeah, um, how much time do we have? We don't have a whole lot of time to be breaking it. So, well, see, the thing is, is if I block it and then decide to do something else with it later, then i got to break it at that point. So, why don't we... Um, oh, crap. I, I didn't bring my, uh, I didn't bring my, um, jackhammer with me. Okay, well, that, that decides it then. Uh, I've got a few concrete blocks on me here, so what we're going to do is we're going to block it. And we don't need to worry about that little section there. And we'll get that upgraded to titanium, and then that will prevent them from uh, being able to go through there. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll put a, a platform on this side uh, with the... Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Um, you know, with the sledgehammer 
later, but I obviously didn't get to that, so. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So, uh, we've got our, everything is, should be fully repaired. The fence posts are in good shape. Uh, we will use the dark trap off and on this time as, as needed, uh, need be. Uh, someone else mentioned in the comments that I should put a motion sensor for the dart trap. The, the problem with that is that if there's a motion sensor, then it's going to just be going off all of the time. Unless, I don't know, unless maybe I set it up in such a way that it's kind of pointing that way instead of straight down. So that's something to think about. But for now, I'm just going to use the switch. So, you know, when, when we get a demo coming in or things start to get uh, hot and heavy, uh, we'll turn that on. So let's go ahead and run the Jenny now. Um, but we won't have the dark trap on, yeah, uh, until we need to, to turn it on. Okay, other than that, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, I was going to actually fully repair this, and I forgot to, so that's all right. We've got lots of ammo, lots of pipe bombs, a few Molotovs. I need to make some more. Let's just get all of this stuff loaded. Uh, we got Atom Junkies. We've got uh, Skull Crushers. And a full stack of pipe bombs, plus I have a few more too, and then we have stuff in our inventory for repairing. Um, I think I'm going to drop off Roberta in here for now, because she's kind of heavy. Don't tell her I said that. She gets really irritated when I say that. And uh, yeah, let's do Horde Knight 140. Yes, indeed. This ought to be interesting. Our first contestant. Here they come. Oh, I hear another bird. That's interesting that they're pushing each other up with that wall in place there. Hmm. I hope that doesn't become a problem. I guess as long as they stay stunned, they shouldn't bang on the ceiling. It's like a zombie elevator. <laughs> Back up a little bit here. Uh, we are level 89 and about three quarters of the way through that too. So that's good. Of the birds, eh? Did I hear another one? You want to keep an eye on. Oh, that's right. I have electric fences there. Duh. Um, you want to keep an eye on this this stuff up here so it doesn't get uh, damaged. It doesn't look like they're hitting it though. So, okay, that's good. That's what we want. Alright, let's light them up. Oh, I guess I forgot to light it. That's usually a good idea with Molotovs. Yeah, that's funny how they're just elevatoring up like that. They're, the ones below are pushing the ones up above. Alright, let's take a small bandage. Check my fence posts. That one's in good shape. That one needs to, a little touch up. Yeah, we'll hit that one too. This thing over here is looking pretty good. All right, let's take a skull crusher and get a little bit of sledge action in here.
Ah, uh, group knockdown. I love them. I love the smell of group knockdown in the morning. Ah, let's take an Adam Junkie. Oops, I did it again. All right, well, that one's gone. Got to light it up. And boom. Morning is here. I'm just gonna have to clear up the last spawn. This just takes another five minutes or so. Alright, let's take the eye candy. And actually, before we go down there, let's drop off some of this heavier stuff. Uh, so that can go in there. Okay, it's the same old, same old. At least the loot drops keep me supplied pretty well supplied with shotgun shells and 
and um, what am I, what's their, what are they called? Steroids. Yeah, you got lots of steroids from the loot. Basic bandages. I mean, it's useful stuff. It's just the same stuff over and over and over. Where are you at, lady? That was a sleeper. They're angry. Oh. Cut that out. In here. So well, we got a superior level iron fire axe. Big whoopee. <laughs> Where are you at, lady? I don't know. She's gonna jump on my head when I'm not looking. Um, okay, that's Sort of kind of cool. There you are. Are you dead? He's dead. We got some night vision goggles. Not that we need them. Okay, that is it. Another smooth horde night. Everything, this base is uh, very, very effective against the Horde, even on day 140. All right, you guys. Well, let's see here. I think I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to go back up and get everything uh, repaired again. And then um, I'm going to use up whatever concrete blocks I have left and just keep working on that. And I'll, I'm going to probably finish the rest of that off camera. Cause it's kind of the same old, same old, um, and get that done. And then, so once, you know, once we get the, the structural repairs done, you know, then we're going to build ourselves a nice garage on yeah, in that corner of the building. And then we have uh, work to do on the roof. And once those two things are done, then we should largely be finished with our Deshaun base. Um, I still, you know, need to still want to go back down through the floors Shoot. I want to go back down through the floors and keep salvaging. Is that just a... Is that a wandering horde that came in, or... Where did those guys come from? No, they must have just been wasteland spawns. Um... Yeah, so that is the plan. And so, yeah, we will catch you guys in the next ex talk mouth episode. Good Lord. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.